Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube, which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Okay, so Artifactory, is, this one is got successfully installed so far. The version which you are installing is 7.2.1. Done. Okay, so now it's got installed. So how do you start and stop these services? This is the one. Okay, so you see a success. And if you want to start and uh, install, this is the way you can do that. Uh, so this is the installation message. Uh, you should keep it. Here, I'll just copy paste here. So later on, I'll just share with you all this stuff. OK, so I'm going to start the services. So system CTL start the services. So after starting the services, you're going to access that uh, website at port number 8081. OK, so that was the objective. So where is my IP address here? Let me get a confirmation whether it got started or not still starting just wait for a second so here if you look at this you have a start command status command and some of the inform important uh, log directories are here uh, which you can use it and get started done guys can we validate if you got started also or not so this command will help me and here you see it's running so now how do you access it uh, port num uh, ip address and port number 8081 okay so here 8081 and here uh, is your uh, uh, artifactory so did i make a mistake yeah yeah, I made a mistake actually. I installed the G GFrog platform. So GFrog platform basically is like everything you have here. Uh, I should have got only to the GFrog. So uh, I think I copied wrong URL, did I? This is a GFrog platform. Okay, no problem, but we'll make it use that one also it will take so just a time that's all so we are not discussing about the jfrog platform we are only talking about the one of their product is artifact which is accessible on 8081 we'll we'll get to know let it come first okay so default username is admin and uh, password will be uh, admin123 uh, no, so ADM uh, just let try a password. Yeah, so here is the URL. Mind it here, not 8082. Okay, I'll I'll talk about that one. 8081 is the real platform. So let it come. And we have to change the password. Say ADMIN. ADMIN. ADMIN123. Uh, what is the password? P A S S W R D. P A S S W R D. And 123. Wait a second. New password is. Let's keep it Rajesh123. Uh, let me copy paste. ADMIN. Rajesh dollar one two three. This is better. Next. Okay. So you have to get a license. So right now 
I don't have a license. So for that you can apply for the trial license. So oh, Let me try the older license if it will work wonderful. I have a few older license on oh, just a second. Um, it should be GitHub. I'm trying the older license. If it is working, super. If it's not working, then we have to get the license. Next. See, that is not working. So verification got failed. No problem. So we'll have to get the jfrog trial license you have to get it so so self hosted one now rajesh anyone would like to share your email address uh, anyone would like to share the email address in the chat win window because i don't have any email address which i can use it uh, for this, I have you consumed all this email address quickly. In the chat window, guys, are you there? I'm audible. Okay, so I'm using this one. Uh, please uh, log in your uh, uh, email address. You'll get a license. Hey viewers, our Master in DevOps Engineering program can help you to hone the skills necessary to succeed in high-level DevOps positions. So, what are you waiting for? Enroll now and earn certification that show you are keeping pace with today's technical roles and requirements. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. So just wait for a few seconds. I'll just pause this recording. This Kirk, conference will now be recorded. On 8081. Okay, so this command will help me to run within a sec and not struggling too much for their license. Done. So OSS is okay. Now, right now I can use 8081. So I'll have to sacrifice this pro version, which I wanted to show you the demo. This is the OSS version. We have a not a multiple support, but Maven support is there, which I want to show you the demo. So let's wait for it. Okay, so this is the real artifactory, which you will get it once. Uh, installation will be successful. He, if you would have given that uh, license, it will look like this one. This is OSS mindful. There's no much difference uh, in OSS and our a pro except that types lots of types is uh, which I talked about it here uh, will be different. So let it come.
I'm just waiting. Just a second. Just wait for a few more seconds. <laughs> okay, so now it is it will be up and running. So sorry about that. Let's uh, it just website got completely changed and they have changed entire layout actually. Okay, so now next thing is how to install this. I'll document all the steps and I'll send it to you through email. Now, after this, what to do? So, first thing you have to understand what are the type of uh, repository you are going to work. Type of repo uh, you are going to you are going to store your package. Going to store your packages. So here, as part of this session, we are going to work with a Docker. Uh, sorry, first Maven, and uh, second second one is uh, Docker. Okay, so these are the two type of package which we are going to store with. So for that, what we, what we are going to do, let it come. Hey viewers, trying to get into DevSecOps? And all for our DevSecOps certified professional programs and earn the certification that shows you are fit for these technical roles and requirements. Contact info is mentioned in the video sidebars and in the description box. Book your seats for the upcoming batches now. Time. Hmm. So now username is ADMIN. Pa a, a password should be PASSWRD. Login. So ADMIN password.
get started uh p a s s w r d sorry new password right so new password i'm making it this one mind it here i'm making this password done now set the base url i'll let it be as it is right now not setting up the base url uh do i need it uh so base url i'll give or should i give the dns name let's let me give the dns name this is the one so http and i'm recording it next proxy internet proxy no skip congratulations done so guys this is the artifact tree it's oss by the way uh, you will not find much difference on os and pro except the supports uh, for multiple types are there so any questions so far any questions so far all of you hello hello am i audible uh, I to all no of questions. you yes i can okay okay now next question is guys how to, uh, once you have a site up and running how to get started with how to get started so that's the question you should be asking it so how to uh, let's say workflow workflow in artifactory okay so i'll put it in the step number one step number two step number three like that so while doing the lab you will not get stuck so after that once up and running uh, the site is up and running then you'll have to create a repo okay because i'm showing you the two repo type one is maven and one is docker so create a repo now the question is here when you create a repo here we have a three kind of repo you will have to uh, choose from it one is like a local repo we call it a hosted repo as well another one is call it a virtual repo and we call it remote repo as well remote repo okay and third one is like a uh, group repo okay group repo so where do you get it here local and remote and uh, group rep repo how do you get it so first let me do that here so go to the here you'll have a recording don't worry about this so you go to the uh, artifactory and uh, no oh, this UI has got changed a little bit so i think artifactory only and click on sorry sorry here uh setting button you can see there is a view button for this this is the complete new versions which we have whole ui has been changed so here's a view button but here you will see that all the uh, admin options so you have to go to the repository and here click on the repository and you have to click uh, and create a remote local uh, remote and virtual uh, local remote and group repository so how do you create it so right side if you see add repository here local repository so now when you create a local repository uh, the local repository will be uh, you know it's a read and write read and write now a remote repository is a read only copy of remote repo i'll explain it to you this one and group repo is like a collections of collections of a local and remote now the difference is what is a local and remote so let's understand in an easy way what is a remote repo we call it here so let's understand this way uh, this is the india team okay and this is a us team 
okay now us team uh, wants to upload their own packages so they will do in their artifactory this is the artifactory and this is the local repo they will do here okay now upload and download will be much easier for them now india team also working and uploading their own package in the local repo okay which is read and writable but again india team needs also the us packages and us team also need an india packages what they will do they'll create one remote repo here so from here automatically the packages will go and store here and they can download from here that way also for this there will be one remote repo here automatically this package will be going and storing there and then from here download will be there so download will be there so that way that uh, if here you know you can download from the locally itself but if you start downloading directly from here too much of download uh, bandwidth will be consumed so that's not a good practice so that way that way we can create a local repo which is the read and write remote repo which is a read only copy of remote repo and group which is a collections of local and hey viewers are you looking for formal training on sre practices take our sre program this course will teach you how to successfully implement site reliability engineering in the modern day 24 into 7 services kick start your sre training today contact info is mentioned in the video side bars and in the description box book your seats for the upcoming batches now remote repo is that clear all of you all of you hello uh, i am um, out uh, I have a question about the remote and the, the, the group repo. You're saying that you can copy the, uh, you can put a copy like a, uh, in in a different repo, the the remote repo. Then when would group then then when would the group option come in where you have a collection of lo, lo, local and re, remote? Is that a different option or an artifactory? Uh, no. Uh, group means what you will do while well, creating the group repo you will add a multiple local repo and multiple uh, remote repos together so you'll be having only one address let's say you have a package in the local repo mm -hmm. and you'll have a package in the remote lo i'll put it in this way uh, which one you prefer let's say i'll i will ask, ask you package one in the rep, uh, lr1 package mm -hmm. two understand that uh, the problem here uh, we have a, we have in your development you have a 10 packages for your product uh, external packages so this is a package one in lr1 lr means local repo one uh, package uh, three in uh, 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 remote repo one and like that so uh, typically you will have a 20 30 packages uh, scattered uh, the dependencies uh, somewhere here and there so now this many uh, repository you have to mention in your uh, maven uh, file so this is not a good right what about if i give you only one url for it combine one url so what about this this is a group this is a group repo actually so when you say group repo is a collections of locals and remote repos put it together and combine it make it one and the moment you call a group repo automatically interpolations will happen uh, to the those reference local repos make sense Yes. Yeah. Does this same thing? It, 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 does this same functionality work with like Nexus? And does Nexus do the same thing? Hundred percent. Hundred percent same. Hundred percent same. Hundred percent. Not even one percent changes. Uh, Nexus videos also you have in the LMS. You can check it out. Okay. Uh, Artifact also is the same thing. It's hundred okay. percent same. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So guys, here uh, you see here. I have to create a local repo, remote repo, and group repo. So I have create. I have come here to create a repo repo. You see that OS is only the thing. Problem here is rest of the thing is you find in the professional only. You see that everything got disabled. I wanted to try it out a Docker, which is uh, again uh, where is that somewhere? It's here. And now it's got disabled because of that reason. I wanted to try it out Docker. Uh, I'll tell you one more one more thing. Artifactory is more popular than Nexus from last one and a half years or two years. But let me tell you Nexus, which uh, Nexus has uh, everything uh, free of cost. Yes, everything free of cost. So it's just an artifactory problem actually. So here, if you go to the Maven, here it is. Uh, I'm creating Maven. Now you have to decide uh, when you are creating a local repo in Maven. Maven 
uh, how many kind of versions of repo you can create maven any idea we had a maven session right what is the release type in maven maven release type quickly guys all of you version type release type hello we have a one uh, release and second one snapshot don't you think so do you remember the uh, the 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 maven session uh, guys i'm not sure are you getting it or not hello yes sir yeah so we have a two type i think you have to uh, uh, do the lab properly so uh, we have a two type of maven release one is a release version and one is snapshot now your skills will be tested here on the artifact because i told you remember here uh, if you look at this uh, why we need artifact because you understand your uh, devops tool so integration with the devops tool is efficiently done okay so now i'm going to create a repo so this is i'm creating a let's say devops school and here i'm saying uh, this is a local repo. so local okay now uh, here this is a maven 2 default by defaults now where i'm going to select huh, here it is look at this if you want to only uh, uh, store only a release version you can say release if you want to store the snapshot version snapshot typically you know what we create a separate separate uh, uh, repository for the release and the snapshot why is that so because that way uh, the 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 cleanup will be much easier so i created one uh, local for the release another local i will create a repository for the snapshot so it's done new version i find little slow but uh, nothing i can do uh, this is their problem they should resolve it so i'm creating one more local and new version i'm to be honest i'm not liking it uh, too much slow and making lengthy lots of ui has come unnecessarily typically it's not for the developers actually so snapshot okay and here i will go and select snapshot only and save and done now i created two local local repo now i have to create a one remote repo now the question is uh, how do we create a remote repo we don't have any remote repo so remember we are using maven and maven for that we have a remote repo anyone has idea who what remote repo i'm talking about anyone has idea anyone have idea what i'm talking about one remote repo uh, no, I'm talking about the central repo. Okay, central repo. Repo dot maven dot apache dot org. That's a central repo. Central repo is your remote repo. It can work like a remote repo. Here it is. Okay, so this is my remote repo. So can we create one remote repo? So guys, I'm creating remote repo now. For Docker, it will be half dot docker dot com. Uh, remote maven and here i will name it see here automatically it has taken no problem and what is that uh, what i'm going to talk, talk about it uh, devops school uh, uh, remote uh, repo just any name i'm going to test also uh, some remote repo you have a username and password you have to pass it but for this is a free and everything is accessible so just save and exit so guys i created one uh, two local one remote and one group i am going to create it so here done now virtual i'm going to create virtual virtual is a group sorry not uh, not a remote so here maven now devops school and group 
and here i'm going to select which one i want it so of course i want everything save and exit okay so i created three repo okay done so my work requirement is done uh, guys look at my screen step number one creating a repo is done now step number two what i have to do you have to create a user and roles all this thing you want to create it but for time being i will manage because we little bit lost the time in the um, uh, installation so i will go ahead with this user id and password only which has all the access but by the way you can create a more user very easily under the security okay uh, sorry under the identity and access here so here you can create a self service as many users and password you can create you can create a groups also you can give the permissions also but right now i'm not uh, talking about it directly i'm jumping to the step number three uh, first i have to note down all the urls for it so let's get it so artifacts and look at my screen here which one is i created i created local this one okay and how do how what is the url for it so look at this here url to file here it is so this is the local i'm going to note down look at my screen all of you okay this is the local and you can open up this here also no it's not accessible and this is the release also it uh, will have no files right now thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today